So I've done anything like that, I've had hello or anything like that. Um, I've like been doing vocal warm-ups, which is something I never did before. And it's something that not many artists do until they have an accident or an injury with their voice, because like, I saw my vocal, I get my voice checked like whenever I'm in London on the tour, just to make sure, because I want to be good for everyone, and I want to last, you know, like I said, we've got like 93 fucking shows. <laughs> my idea. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. And um, so I get it checked, and I was like, I don't know how I talk before, you know. I was drinking, I was smoking, also having a laugh. Like after a good show, you'd be like, let's have a party, yeah. <laughs> Whereas now, when I leave the stage in a minute, I'll go on 12 hour vocal rest. It's boring, right? So like, I can't even like chat away about my show or anything. They do, they go out. I've seen a few of them with hangovers, so they can't be on my behalf. <laughs> when I was in New York, I did this is a really fucking long story, so I've got to work out a way to make it up. <laughs> when I was in New York, I had this woman who did a warm up with me, and she gave me these crystals, and I was like, this is awkward, I'm not really hippie. <laughs> Great, thanks my crystals. Anyway, like being so nervous, I had them in my hand the whole time I was thinking about the show. My nerves are getting better. I'm really enjoying this run of shows that I've done so far, so I'm more desperate to get on stage rather than like one to one. Anyway, so New York was a great show. I was like, oh my god, these crystals. They like, like, give me luck. I tried the crystals, used them for everything, and then at that fucking Grammy performance, I lost my fucking crystals. <laughs> It was the biggest disastrous performance I've ever had to date, right? So I was like, oh my God, these crystals, got me crystals. It's all been all right so far. It's all been good. Found me crystals. Thank you. I'm just telling you a little story about what goes on before, because also we thought we lost them before I came on, and I have to get in this vehicle to get to the stage. Like I was telling you, use your imagination. I'm like, where are my crystals? They all think I'm mad, and I meditate now. Oh, and I'm literally turning into a hippie. <laughs> One time I got rid of them, just make the story even longer. One time, years ago, I got reflexology. And they were shining lights into my feet. And again, I was like, what the hell is she doing? She's putting like a blue light on me, big toe, a green light on me, little toe. And I thought the whole thing was a sham. And then when I left, I was walking on it. <laughs> oh, I loved it. It was amazing. I recommend it. I haven't had it since. I just haven't got time, but it's amazing. But anyway, that was a long one. Sorry, it keeps me a bit longer. The next song I'm going to do. There is a curfew, so I've got to hurry up a little bit. The, uh, the next song that I'm going to do... God, this is another long fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> On my first album, right, each album I have, I find, is summed up by one song. For me, not for anyone else. On my first album, for me, it was Hometown Glory. On my second, it was Someone Like You. And on this one, I felt like I was coming towards the end. Oh my, don't give it away. I was coming to the end of recording, and I was like, oh my God, I haven't got the song that sums up the album for me. So I flew to LA get some fresh air, like, see something new, meet some new people and stuff like that. And within two days of being there, I wrote this song. And I was so happy, because like I said earlier, I've got baby blues, and lots of us have had it, and it's nothing to be ashamed or scared of, because you just got to talk about it. I thought I was on my own, so I mentioned it to my mate, and she was like, yeah, I always feel like that. I was like, oh my God. You just got to talk to your mates about it, right? And, um, and I thought, like, I felt like none of me existed anymore. And um, then when I wrote this song, I was so relieved that a piece of me had come back to myself in a massive way. And it is my favourite song that I've ever written. It's so nostalgic and it, I see my life in a movie. And I know I'm not the only person. We've all got that song that when we listen to it on our, on our, I know, on our earphones, we're walking down the street in slow motion. <laughs> We've all got that. I still do that. And um, that's this song. And I would like to take a massive chance to thank you for saying hello to me when I came back and said hello to you because I was gone for a really long time. But thank you for that time, because it means I can live a very normal life, and I mean, I do, I, I don't take it for granted, I, 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 I live a very normal life when I'm away from it, and um, it means that I can write records that ain't one of those, like, oh, I've like, moaned about being famous because they're boring, I've heard those records, <laughs> they're shit, so <laughs> I want to keep writing real records for you, and I need to have experiences, that's why I need my time away, and I'd like to let you into my past a little bit with these photographs, thank you.